Hello and hey, and today we get the Sydney character pack. This is a character pack that didn't have much information leading up in until today's release. There was a te teaser trailer, excuse me, a little bit beforehand. We did get a sort of an idea of what she might be like and the weapons she uses, but now that it's here and out, I can show you everything that there is, including the new perk deck, the Anarchist deck, which does seem to bring another element into the game that should be fun and usable. So I have reverted reverted back to the actual update, uh, no longer in the skills beta, so I had to go through and make some skills adjustments. But other than that, we're going to go ahead and jump into the primary, which is the bootleg rifle. As a standard weapon, it's not that impressive. We do see, you know, a hundred round magazine, which is great, but the really low accuracy and uh, okay stability kind of... Uh, allow that to be the case so it's like um, a more handy LMG but we can make it more accurate and more stable at the cost of quite a bit of concealment I don't really think anybody was going to try to take this on stealth sort of heists but if you were um, you're going to lose out on a lot of those stats that we can bring it up to there's a lot of this weapon specific things that do very similar modifications that things that we already have and what I mean by this is for like the barrel extension, normally the competitor's compensator is probably one that most people will use. On this exact weapon, we have the bootstrap compensator, which is exactly the same thing. And uh, I think that's sort of an interesting little twist. We see that nice little, um, what's, oh man, the muzzle brake on the end of this weapon. It This looks a little bit cooler, and uh, it's a nice refresh from seeing this on the end of every single weapon we have. So... There's not a whole lot to say about this. It's just like a more handy LMG, like I was saying. And uh, you can't really mod it too crazy either. So it's just um, another choice for you. As far as the melee goes, nothing too special. It doesn't really have the high of damage or knockdown ability. It does look really cool. And it's not quite a 32 concealment. So it kind of fits in that weird place where you use it if you want to look at it. But other than that, there's no, there's no real... Uh, benefit either way so not much to say on that front and then of course we need to get to the new perk deck this is the thing that most people probably won't be able to see because they have maxed out points already and you can't get more past a certain point and so i have the sociopath one which i have no points in just to kind of allow me to grab the new perk decks on day one whenever they come out so blitz creek bop Instead of fully regenerating armor when out of combat, the Anarchist will continuously regenerate armor throughout the entire combat. Heavier armor regenerates more armor, but during longer intervals. So, it's more like um, a muscle or a hostage taker where a set period of time will then net the regeneration. Like, it doesn't just, like, really climb the whole time. I mean, I guess it may with a suit, but I haven't really tried it with that. And I don't think it's super efficient to do it that way. Especially as we get into the other skills, you're going to see more why that would be a um, uh, a silly proposition, I think. So, obviously, the second, fourth, sixth, and eighth are all the same as every other tree. So, we'll go ahead and go to straight edge. 50% of your armor, or your health, is converted into 100% more armor. Pardon me. And then, for that, it jumps up to 110% more armor. And that is 120% more armor. So, these aren't really doing a whole lot. You end up with 120% more armor for half the health that does come into play quite a bit and then the last one is dealing damage will grant you 10 armor and this effect can only happen once every 1.5 seconds so sort of a a drain drain tank sort of situation similar to how grinder is but it doesn't really matter how much damage you do it doesn't matter if you have the weakest silenced whatever or if you're using the thanatos or rpg you're going to get just the 10 armor from every 1.5 seconds. So this is a case where a Molotov or something like that is going to be your friend. It's not too crazy, but I do think it uh, it does enough where it takes that 230, or 230 health, which is your standard health number, and bumps it down to 115 is going to be interesting, especially when you combine it with the ICTV. And you're going to be able to regenerate that at set intervals uh, I think it'll create some interesting things. I don't know if it'll stick around as like a forever sort of use thing because armor is pretty good and muscle is very good right now. But we will see. I mean, as as it comes out, if you um, 
are just a run and gunner, maybe this will suit you, you know, slightly better. Maybe it doesn't have to be like an all the time sort of thing optimization, but you know, you feel like this mission. So there's that. So basically we're just going to jump right into some gameplay. My favorite mission usually tends to be a cook off just because it's so hectic and stuff like that. But I think I'm going to go with a beneath the mountain. And we'll go ahead and crank it up. Not too crazy. I don't want to go down in the mission, obviously, but you know, a lot of firefighting, a lot of just doing stuff. I think it'll be a nice little change of pace here. So we'll get right into it. Oh, I forgot the lock missions are <laughs> six hours of loading time for me. So my skills aren't too much. It's basically just full into enforcer and I have spec into shotgun skills. We don't have any shotguns because it doesn't matter at this point. So we have far away, as we see, the accuracy is not good. But the stability is pretty good. i got to give credit where credit's due here. It's, a, it's a pretty much a laser when you do hit your shots. The damage isn't that great on this one. we got 42, so the headshot is going to be a key component to this. Obviously, let me go see. If we, I think it's... Yeah, that stability probably makes up for the lack of accuracy. Really liking that. You see her voice is uh, not really like the other two women's voices. you got Clover, who's more of a screech sort of sound. Shrieking, I guess would probably be a better uh, adjective for that. And then Bonnie's got just her thick Scottish accent. Not too much. Uh, just out of normal. It's a little, little deep, a little bassy. But... Lock, I'm trying to talk here, buddy. Sydney's got a um, much higher tone. So we'll see if we can't get a few more lines out of her. And I think somebody would have to tell me if uh, this accent sounds um, legitimate. Because to me, ha not being from Australia, obviously, from the Midwest, the United States, it doesn't sound quite that great. It sounds like it's being forced. If the actress is Australian and I'm just being an asshole, then I, I do apologize. But it doesn't quite sound authentic. That's the word I'm looking for. But then again, I guess I don't know for sure. That's a good look. So yeah, I don't know how much I, just, I really need to show. There's not a whole lot to this pack. Again, my recommendation on it is probably just wait for the, the A Steam sale. This game's on sale all the time, and all of its DLC usually goes along with it. So, I would say, you know, if you get it soon, the summer sale's coming up in like six or seven weeks or something like that, so probably... Probably a good time to wait for this. Again, I don't have a problem with it. You know, it's got some interesting things to it. The uh, re armor regeneration. If you've been noticing, I haven't really been taking all that much damage. I do have 300 armor after all, but um, we are getting it back at those increments, like I said. And I'm really looking at the armor right now. I'm not looking at the shield. So, make of it what you will. It's not a whole lot here. Five dollars is probably a little bit too expensive, or your regional equivalent for the content that we got that again is always up to you your discretion so we'll go ahead and let this go for now so i appreciate you guys watching and be safe so we'll catch you later